DJ Scream. Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station. Hood Rich Radio, it's time for the Superstar Check-In with DJ Scream. You know what it is. And today we have a very lovely young lady in the building. You might have seen her on Instagram. You might have seen her in my video, Gripping Grain. Rich Behavior is in the building for Hood Rich Radio. What's up? Hi. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> I know, right? Long time no see. How you feeling today? I'm good. How are you? Everything's good? Yep, that's good. Now everybody tunes in to your, to your Instagram and we see you be doing... A lot of big things, a lot of sexy, th- just a lot of things. Let people know some of the shit that you do. Uh, right now, I've only been modeling for like a year. So right now I'm just going <laughs> by word of mouth. Like yeah. I don't have a manager or nothing like that. It's just okay. straight from Instagram. People find me there and okay. want me in a video. And tell everybody the cast of uh, videos that you've done, including, you know, the DJ Screen Gripping Game, but you've done a lot of other ones. Uh, I the, re- the most recent one I just did was Dab. Dab? Look at my dad with the Migos. Okay, Migos, drummer boy, yeah. I think. Yeah, shout um, out to them. I did some things with Q. Q, okay. Um, Something about a dog. Okay. Why you look so, like, like you don't know who these people are? Like, you don't listen to rap music? <laughs> I mean, not all the time I know who these people are. Okay, then that's cool. <laughs> that's even better. That's even better. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so you did some videos uh with them. Um, And we see in your Instagram. There's some other things you do on your Instagram, like you're always taking like certain types of pictures. And just me, just every day. Just life? I, yeah, just life. Like yeah. I'm not taking, there's no like order or nothing of, you know, nothing I'm not trying to promote or anything. Right. It's just right. my life. So when you say rich behavior and you kind of give me this aura, are you already rich? No, you got a lot of I'm money? not rich. Did you rich, bring me some money? No, my dad's name is Richard. Okay. I was named after him, Richelle, so okay. that's where that came from. It has nothing to do with money. I'm poor people. You're not poor. You don't, <laughs> I'm not poor, not, but not I'm not that. rich either. Okay. All right. That's what it is. What do you do on a What do you do on a typical day? What do you wake up and do? What do you do on a typical day? What's a typical day for rich behavior? Right now, uh, I'm with an acting coach every day. Okay. So I'm trying to break thing break into acting. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So every day. This girl, this lady comes to my house and Oh, you seem annoyed by it. (laughs) No, I guess I won't be annoyed by it after it's all over with. But right Right. now, it's just... It's kind of annoying. Yeah. So talk to us about this accent. I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans? Yes, but I've been here for a while, so it's wearing off. It's wearing off? Mm -hmm, Not really. No, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) It's not wearing off. New Orleans culture, man. New Orleans culture is like a... Well, from the food end, you know, I know when I go there, I always get gumbo. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I like that type of food. You're looking at me like you don't even know what that no, is. No, I love gumbo. You have love you gumbo? I have not tried it. No? I haven't tried it. What is it all about? It's actually the, the casing from a sausage. Okay. So they take the casing off, uh, take the sausage, the meat out of the casing, and yeah. then they stuff like shrimp or rice or yeah. any type of seafood or anything you want in there. Got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now, rich behavior. All right, so you're at the club. You're at the club. You're in the VIP section. Mm-hmm. You're looking around, and a lot of men in the club want to approach you. I like the quiet, laid back in the cut. You never type. You never see type of guy. Okay. Yeah. So I not to like do with the ten, the twenty bottles, no, the twenty gold bottles, no way. with the big chain and no way. And the no, mozzie no, outside, no. no. no? You want I the think, square in the corner? Yeah, the quiet guy? I, I like the friend. I like the one that nobody knows, and he's just chilling. He's just there. Yeah? You don't see him. So <laughs> the nigga with all the bottles and the big jury, Won't he, should, he should feel intimidated. No. He coming, should. coming to approach you, but the, the nigga that, that works for IBM, and he just happens to be in the club that night because it's his homeboy's birthday, he should, he should say in his heart and his mind, you know, I'm going to go get at her because she, she's going to like my type. And now you seem confused. Now you seem like you want the best of no, both worlds. because I'm the type of girl that approaches. Oh, you approach the yeah, men. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because the type of guys that I don't like, they won't approach me. Oh. Because they're quiet. They're shy. They, they would never think that somebody would like me. Wow. <laughs> That's big. So come on. Let's let's hear your spiel. How you approach a man? How you kick your game? What's up? I'm What's up? <laughs> <laughs> that's all you really got to say, probably. So that's cool. If, if if it's something that you really want, you'll approach it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And how has that worked for you in the or past? Or at least I have to see the guy maybe like a couple times, like three or four times or something. How has that worked out for you in the past? 
Um, it hasn't. It hasn't. <laughs> so maybe you got to try another approach. Yeah, it hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't. Cause, yeah. What's the craziest thing that has happened to you thus far, just being in the industry, modeling and doing videos? Like, what's the craziest, most absurd story that you could tell? Mm, one time I went to this video and guns got drawn and all that stuff and okay. people started fighting. Really? That was like the worst thing. I've only been doing videos for like six months. Were you even scared? Because you seem like a G. No, I'm used to it. You're used to it. Mm -hmm. Did you pull out your gun too? No. I okay. just got my money and got on. Yo, you left. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you had time for this shit. Yeah, I'm from New Orleans, so we used to right. stuff like that. So right. talk about... um. The music industry. Who who who's some of the people in the music industry like I guess guys that you think are fly like? I am this, a big, big fan of Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti, okay. I love Jeezy. Okay. M Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> not rap, you from but <laughs> Jeezy I mean, to Miguel. That's, uh, I know, I'm just giving you um I also like B. O. B. B. O. B. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh Drake. Okay. Future. Future. Yeah. They Any thumbs downs? Um, just people use like. Ugh. I mean, I don't want to say this, and then. I mean, you're supposed to. It's a free me, country. I don't. I don't. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> what about what yeah. about what about females that you think that's on this shit that you kind of like? Of course, Beyonce. Beyonce, that's the easy one. Well, yeah, she's the yeah. Beyonce. You ever had model or Instagram beef? Like a chick try to get at you, diss you, or at Caddy? Yes, okay. I've had a lot of girls that just come and just for no reason, and I'm really a nice person. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, when's, your, when's your birthday, if we don't mind asking? Pisces. Mark You're a Pisces. Pisces. Yes. Okay, Pisces can be nice, but they can also not be nice. Yes. Right, exactly. Yes. So how did you handle this beef? Like if somebody says something crazy to you on social networks, or if a girl just kind of bumps from into New Orleans. you, like I can't, we it's it's not too much we could, you know, just. So you beat some chicks down before. Yes, okay. I had to. You say it like it's a daily thing. Yes, <laughs> like, I had to. Like living, like, growing up in New Orleans. Well, I'm talking about fight. in the industry, not in New Orleans. We know in I'm grade telling, school. Yeah. You, so it's so like, since you've been to Atlanta, you had to whip ass. Mm -mm. Okay. No, not since I've been to Atlanta, but since I've been to Georgia. Since you've been to Georgia. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How'd that work out? Blood on your hands. Jail. <laughs> jail. You've been to jail. <laughs> yes. I want to see your mugshot. No. Is it up, Rochelle? What? <laughs> Tell us now. <laughs> Badass, Rochelle Badass. Rochelle Badass, that's what it is. So you have beats with chicks down. What do you do? So when you're not modeling, when you're not taking fly pics, when you're not getting to the money, what do you do? Do you cook? Yes. You can I cook, cook a lot. Yes, okay. I cook a lot of New Orleans spicy, any type of anything that has to do with seafood. Okay. I cook it. All mm -hmm. right, cool. What else you into? Um, I read a lot. You read? Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of books? <clears throat> I'm into psychology right now. Psychology. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> That's very scary. So if a I woman would, tells you she's into psychology. No, I want to get into people's minds, like what makes them do the things that they do. So, okay. yeah, I'm into that. What up, DJ Screen? Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. Is it was ready? Yo, you better not change the station.